Hello, uh, I'm An Sifu Andrew Platt, and welcome to our next uh, Splashing Hands Drill videos for the Bagler. Um, yeah, I'm just in my Thai gear, so I apologise because I've just finished a Thai class, so I'm just going to film this now, and yeah, it's, it's all good. So, um, alright, uh, last uh, drill was our jab, punch, and punch jab, so we're going to continue with that. So we stand in a neutral stance, and we jab, punch, one, two, 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 okay? So we're just using that to create a nice ribbon. Now, we're going to do the add-ons today, and we're going to work a mid-range. All right, so a long range will be using the kicks. Um, our mid-range will be punches, this way, and uppercuts. And our close range will be elbows, and our, our zero range will be our shoulders and hips. So we're going to work at our mid-range, which is all punching. We're going to work on the six add-ons, which are the six directions. Now, these are, are common and uncommon splashing hands moves. So I'll, I'll go through each one as we uh, work through them. So I'll show you the six add-ons first, and I'll show you how to add them in. Okay, so our first add-on is the most common one, is the uppercut. Now, the uppercut traditionally goes to the ribs. Okay, nice low or solar plexus height. But today we're gonna go, we can go for the face as well, so we're gonna change it slightly and go for the head. So on this one, we're uppercutting here, okay? And we're covering with the back hand this way. Again, from a neutral stance to begin with, you can put the shuffles in later on. You're gonna turn this way and you're gonna punch. And what you'll notice is all the, uh, all these add-ons are, are closed-fisted and not open-handed. Okay, so we have got here, see how the hand turns up, elbow down to give strength in the body. So we're not like this, we're not uppercutting like this, it's straight. It's a straight punch with a slight uppercut angle. This way. Okay, we hit him, and we cover him with the face at the same time. And see how we're using the waist to turn. So that's our first one, the uppercut. So if we add that in, that would be jab, punch, jab, punch, uppercut. And then we jab with the same hand, jab, punch, jab, punch, uppercut with the opposite hand. Jab with the same hand again, punch, jab, punch, uppercut. So we do two jab punches. Jab, punch, jab, punch, uppercut. Jab, punch, punch, uppercut. Jab, punch, jab, punch, uppercut. Okay, so you see how the ribbon goes. We do a jab, punch, jab, punch, add on. Jab, punch with the same hand, jab, punch, add on. That way we're alternating sides. Now, our next one, so that's an upwards movement. The opposite would be a downwards movement, okay? So we're looking at angles today. So the downwards movement is a hand fist downwards or a forearm strike. In splash your hands, it's this way. It comes down and in. So it's straight, but with a downwards twist. Today, we're gonna do it with a closed fist and hit down this way. Again, we cover the face this way, because obviously the form is here, but when we're hitting something, you don't want to hit like this, you wanna hit like this. So we're covering the face. So we go down this way, down this way. Okay, and again, we're pushing down with the elbow and the whole body and using the waist to twist. So we're twisting this way. So when we add that in, it's jab, punch, jab, punch, down. 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 Okay, so we're adding a downwards motion. So we've got up, we've got down. Now we're going to go to the side. This is an uncommon splash and hand move. Okay, in the forms, it's not really in the form, it's a twisting motion. Here, when we get here, we can turn. And it's not a big look roundhouse, because we know from splash hands you shouldn't do roundhouses. This is a straight move that turns at the end. So if you're hit here, you can go for a jab, and if you move slightly that way, you can hit and twist with the back of the hand this way. So we're hitting with the back of the hand, and again, it has to be a fist on this one. So this way, it comes here, it goes on this side, it be here. Alright, see how we turn the shoulder. The top of the shoulder doesn't come up like this. Has to be down, has to be solid. You actually get quite a lot of structure in this movement, um, but it takes a lot of practice to get used to, so you're not hitting up with the elbow. So again, I'll show you, we go this way, we cover the face, we walk this way. Two. You can see the power I'm getting from the bag, just from the waist turn. Two. And again, it doesn't come right around here, it comes this way and hits, and turns at the last second. You can do it with open hand if you want. This way. You see the power just from the waist turn. That's not even muscular power, that's internal power. So we add that in, we go jab, punch, jab, punch, jab, and then it flicks in, jab, punch, punch, jab, jab, punch, jab, punch, jab. Okay, so we turn from the waist and that flicks in with a straight. <clears throat> okay, the opposite to that is this way. It's a little bit awkward on the back. On the pads, it's very easy to use. With a small motion, hit here, and then you hit this way, backwards. With the back of the hand, one, two. Again, you cover the face. With this, you have to turn the opposite way. You're not turning this way, turn this way for now. You can do this way as well, but first practice here because of the shape and size of the bag. So again, we hit this way and we go out. Again, we're not coming all the way around here and back out. We're just coming straight in and hit from the back section here. One, two, 
Okay? If we put the weight from the tip, this way you get so much power from this movement. So it's a really good one to, under, uh, to make sure you don't overlook. So again, we jab one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. So we're turning the weights this way. And we've also got backwards elbow if you need it. Similar to this one, which is actually in, um, which is in butterfly. So we're here, we're just doing it wider. Okay? So from here, this way, this way. Now, that's, uh, that's up. So we've got up, down, backwards, inside. Now, the last two, we've got downwards here. Now, these two are downwards and upwards motion spiral. So it's not upwards this way, it's upwards this way. In the form of here, this way, upwards this, or this one, when you step this way. So again, we're hitting up this way with a hand fist. All right, so we're going up this, this way. We could do it now, we're going to do it with a hammer fist. So again, we're upwards and we turn and we go straight. So one, two, two, up this way, hammer fist. Again, covering the face, protecting the body. It's almost, you could use it as a cross step. This way. One, two, one, two. Okay, similar sort of thing. Now, the last one is a downwards punch, straight punch this way. We're going down this way, okay? So, one, two, one, two, and straight down this way to the ribs, lower stomach, and bladder here. One, two, two, one, two, one, two, and we're closing, we're driving it. This hits just above the bladder here and above the hips, and that will make a man wet himself, especially if you're out drinking, um, or you're out and somebody comes up to you and they've been drinking. If you move downwards, hand here, here, it's just going to make them absolutely empty the bladder. Very embarrassing, but it's going to stop them fighting you because they're just, just too busy thinking about what they've just done. So you hit down, hit down, and that's straight in. One, two, one, two, oh. Again, you hit it up. This way. So we've got six ranges of motion there. In, out, up, down, spiraling up, spiraling down. You can add them in. I suggest maybe doing like a three minute on each one as you go. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, off the cut. And the next one, hand fist, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, after that, you can just mix it up. So you go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six on each side. So you go, uh, you each one on the right hand, and then the left hand, and you one on the right hand, and the left hand, you make a form up, and you repeat. And then once you get used to that, you can just do random movements. Don't rem remember not to forget to put these into your normal and outstanding drills. So we've got one, this is like in, two, turn the foot as well. Make sure you turn the foot on the uh, open air drills this way. You go this way, this way. You've got this way, clean my hand. Again, turn it up. You've got this way, this way, this way, down onwards, down onwards, down onwards. And then you've got upwards or this way. Which way sure you want to do it. Okay, so you've got lots of, you've got six different drills, and that gives you many, many combinations to work with. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. I'm Sophia Andrew Platt. Take care.